Jean Marie. You're invited to an exclusive look at the backstage life of Marie Osmond and what it takes to produce her remarkable new talk show. Hot mess. <laughs> we'll meet some of her guests, go behind the scenes for producer's perspective, enter her exclusive interview with megastar Hugh Jackman, and see what it's like to be a talk show host by day in LA and a Vegas performer by night. Coming up, the fabulously hectic life of Marie Osmond. I'm a brand new woman every day and I know I can be more. Than ever before, I'm gonna push. I saw it in the room and I didn't know whose it was. No, I got it. It's no big deal. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I think uh, Stacy's just getting hers and we're out of here. So I have a pair of tennis shoes because I did. They packed my shoes. <laughs> yes, they're actually quite comfy. <laughs> we'll see you. Goodbye. Yep, just so you guys know. She said that Steve said about Steve. She said her Steve. Oh, they have a bromance. Oh, she said she said that my Steve said that he has a bromance with your with your Steve. Husband. That he's in love with your husband. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Okay, I love you, baby. Okay, bye. Like my husband is very understanding, and he knows. He said, "I know what I married. I know." And second. yes, both times. <laughs> Maybe not so much the first time, but the, for sure the second time. I'm I'm five decades in this business. You know, people say, why do you work so hard? First of all, I enjoy it, but I have I still have to work. I have children that I've got to put through college, and you know, I've had my ups and downs financially. So yeah, I have to work, but I get to work at things I love and I enjoy. The talk show is something that I wanted to do. Maybe because I never had a sister to help women feel okay about themselves, make them feel like, you know, can we do it all? I think we can, I don't think we can do it all at once, and I don't think we can do it without help. And so, because I'm busy, I love working with my daughters because I get to spend time with them too, and they get to know me as a mother and a, a worker and why I'm passionate about what I do. It's in giving back to people. I am so amazed at my kids. I'm very blessed. I have the best kids in the world. My mother used to say that about us, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> but I have the best children in the world. They, there's nothing better than being a mom. All the things I've done in my life mean nothing in comparison to seeing your child succeed in life and to seeing them be this remarkable human being that was just this little ball of love, you know? There's nothing greater, nothing that makes my heart leap more than to see my children succeed in life and to be there for them. And so when, when a woman has to work, it's difficult to be away from your kids, but I feel blessed that I'm able to have them around me and I feel like, my gosh, sometimes I feel like they're the mothers taking care of their mother. <laughs> to see them forgive you for your mistakes, to embrace your love, to overlook your, your flaws, and to love you is like the most amazing gift. And when she someday has her children, she'll understand what I'm saying. And my mother used to tell me this too, but there's no greater joy than your children. It's not. They're, they're the most challenging and most wonderful job you'll ever have. Everything I uh, believe in is about curiosity, about um, finding out about yourself, about other people, and really that real journey. And something like Victor Hugo's novel, Les Miserables, and playing Jean Valjean, you have to really honestly look at yourself 
as a person and then look into what it means to be a man and what it means to be a human being. But can I just say something before you move on? Your voice is ridiculous. You're <laughs> like, you are amazing. You're Your so talent nice is amazing. You are a, 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 a true artist.